Yeah, Drew Drew Holiday is solidified as probably the best defender in the league um, at the at the guard position. Check it out. This is a video I've been wanting to make for a very very long time. I cannot tell you guys how unbelievably happy I am with what I have found in the NBA realm. Now remember a few videos back, I told you guys, I told you guys so confidently that this might be a seller's market when it comes to high quality basketball players. The logic behind what I'm saying is that every team wants to get better. There's not many teams that are willing to part with high level talent. You know what, actually just scratch high level talent. There aren't many teams that wanna part with good talent right now. I think it may have to do with the NBA being as open as it's ever been. Literally, anybody can win the title next year, though I'm sure the favorites will probably be the Lakers. You guys understand my sentiment. Right now, what we're seeing, simple supply and demand. Next season, NBA free agency is going to be crazy. We have the potential to see Chris Paul, LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, Blake Griffin, Paul George, Gordon Hayward, Mike Conley, Kyle Lowry, Drew Holiday, Gobert, Giannis, and many more high-level players hit the free agency market. So many guys that I simply didn't feel like naming everybody. What I'm trying to tell you guys is that next year we're going to see a different market than what we see this year. This year, a player like Drew Holiday might get you two or three times what he normally would in a return. And if you're a Pelicans fan, wait for it, it's coming. If you're a Pelicans fan like me, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. At the same time, it, it kind of does suck though, because Drew Holiday and the New Orleans Pelicans have been through a lot. I don't think Drew Holiday necessarily wants to leave right now, but I do think he's a player that's very underrated and can be that missing piece to a championship team. Going forward, the New Orleans Pelicans have a lot of questions surrounding the franchise, questions surrounding their young core, Will Zion finally come back into shape? Will Lonzo finally get the consistency that everybody believes he can have? And is Stan Van Gundy really going to be our long-term option at head coach? The future is unknown. Some might say the unknown is scary, but what's scary to me is exactly how good this Pelicans team can be. Because to me, this is a team that's a lot closer than many people think. People see the names Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, Lonzo Ball, and they think greatness. They give their input on Pelicans basketball without watching the Pelicans play. And that can be pretty frustrating. But you see me? I'm here to set the record straight. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. You will not want to miss another Get Like Coop video. And that's facts. It would mean a lot if we could go ahead and get to 200,000 subscribers. I've been putting a lot of work in on the content and I appreciate you guys, man. You guys have been supporting the content hard recently. You guys know NBA 2K21 Next Gen is right around the corner. Be sure to follow my stream. And if you enjoy football, be sure to follow my NFL channel. The links will be down in the description below. Lastly, be sure to drop a thumbs up on this video. It shows me that you guys enjoy the content and it helps me out in a major way. November 4th, 2020, Shams reported that the New Orleans Pelicans are openly discussing star Drew Holiday in trade talks and several contending teams are pursuing. Reportedly, 10 teams are interested in Drew Holiday. If you ask me, all signs are pointing to this turning into a bidding war which if you're a Pelicans fan, you're incredibly happy. Drew Holiday, great player. You can make an argument in 2018 when the Pelicans made their playoff run, their like one and only playoff run, you could argue that Drew was the best player on the floor. Not only was he able to slow down Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum, he was a legit two-way superstar, or at least it felt like it. Drew Holiday averaged 28 points per game against the Blazers that series. He shot 39% from the three-point line and 56% from the field. It's no secret that Drew Holiday is one of the best on-ball defenders in the NBA. He's a great scorer, good ball handler, but at times he can struggle with consistency. I love Drew, but at times 
he seemed like a really questionable fit alongside Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, and Zion Williamson. Legit at times, it felt like the Pelicans were playing like LA fitness basketball and there wasn't enough ball to go around. Alongside that, the Pelicans could never truly maximize Drew Holiday's abilities, of course in my opinion, because Drew Holiday is a phenomenal on-ball defender, but it never seemed to matter because the Pelicans defense as a whole was so bad. And that's saying a lot, considering this is a team that has had Anthony Davis almost his whole career. With the first pick in the 2012 NBA draft, the New Orleans Hornets select Anthony Davis. Drew actually has said that Anthony Davis is 90% of the reason that he resigned. I don't know if you guys know, but like 90% is a lot of percent. Drew's a Cali guy. He went to UCLA, it's no secret that Drew loves Los Angeles. I'm just not sure the Lakers have the assets to pull off a move, but they could be serious buyers when Drew Holiday becomes a free agent the following season. Now, this is something that I've never actually said before, the word Pelicans and super team, but here we go. The Pelicans have super team potential if they pull off one of these trades. Three teams are rumored to be among the top bidders for Drew Holiday, the Miami Heat, the Denver Nuggets, the Brooklyn Nets. Let's talk Brooklyn. Jared Allen, Karis LeVert, and they have a bunch of other pieces that are very enticing if you're New Orleans. Jared Allen's a great player, so is LeVert. Neither of these players are close to their ceiling, but of course, I'm not sure Brooklyn would include both of those guys. I'm just exercising my point that the Brooklyn Nets can make a very competitive offer. Somehow, I feel like people have forgot about Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. This is a team that if they dominate the Eastern Conference without making any move, nobody is going to be shocked. You add Mike D'Antoni to that coaching staff, and you got to question if they're going to move the ball. That's a joke. Okay, but it's going to be fun. The Nets are going to be really good. Don't be shocked if this team takes over the Eastern Conference. They have mega stars. They're deep. They're everything you want in a team. Co-stars, I mean, everything. For me, I don't feel like the Nets make the best or the most fun offer when it comes to Drew Holiday. There's a report out right now that not only could the Miami Heat be at the front of the line for Holiday, but also they may include Tyler Hero if they have to. The Miami Heat, they're all in. They want to seize the moment. Tyler Hero in an offense with Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram, and Lonzo Ball, it's an unreal fit because Tyler Hero has gravity. He's somebody that doesn't need the ball to be effective, but he's so much better with the ball. And once he gets the ball, he doesn't have to dribble the air out of the ball to get a shot. One, two dribbles, maybe come off of a screen and pull up. He's one of the best in the game already at that at such a young age. Hero's potential is through the roof. Pair Hero with a player like Zion Williamson that's going to be getting his team nothing but open threes, all of a sudden you have two players whose gravities are kind of offsetting. It's pick where you want to get beat from. People talk about the deep book comparisons in Hero and how he models his game after him. Well, we're already starting to see some of Hero's work be put into motion. So there have been some conflicting reports on the Heat possibly parting with Hero. Kind of believe what you will when it comes to the Miami Heat possibly dealing Hero in a Drew Holiday trade. The team that interests me the most when it comes to a Drew Holiday trade is none other than the Denver Nuggets because this is a team that has assets all over the place. The Miami Heat do too, but I would say right now, finding a stretch big for Zion has to be an absolute priority, but not just like a Ryan Anderson, a Mehmet Okur. The Pelicans need somebody that's also going to block shots like a Miles Turner. Yeah, you guys are starting to get it. At the NBA level, Zion has shown almost no signs of being an elite paint protector. We know he can be, he has a body of work that exceeds him, but as it stands right now, we haven't seen anything. You wanna know what the funny thing is though? The Pelicans defense is better with Zion Williamson in the game. I listened to Zach Lowe's podcast and 
His reasoning for Zion helping the Pelicans play better defense is the team is just bought in more with Zion, meaning the team not only thinks they can be good, they know they can be good. Another effect of Zion is they may be able to set up their half court defense more often because Zion scores the ball at such an elite rate already. Forget being a Pelicans fan. If you're a basketball fan, you have to hope Zion comes back this next season in shape. And if you're a basketball fan, you have to hope the Denver Nuggets and the New Orleans Pelicans are able to reach an agreement on a deal. Reportedly, if the Pelicans trade with the Nuggets, Gary Harris or Will Barton would have to be included. Not just Gary Harris or Will Barton. After that, the Nuggets would likely need to include current two-way center, Bull Bull, who is still technically a rookie. If Bull develops his body and dedicates himself on defense, his potential is through the roof. Jackson Hayes is going to be a beast. Understand Van Gundy. You heard it here first. I think Hayes has the potential to become one of the best centers in the NBA. But let's just think for a second. If the Pelicans were able to get Bull Bull, no longer do they have to worry about acquiring a two-way stretch. Bull Bull's wingspan is absurd and he uses it to his full advantage. He blocks shots that he has no business being in the vicinity of. He's rangy, he's athletic, he's also got a great handle on him for his size, he shows elite shot creation, and he can stretch the floor. Bull Bull can shoot lights out. How in the world do you guard a team that has Bull Bull, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, Lonzo Ball, and insert Josh Hart, or whoever the Pelicans take, in this year's NBA draft. And if you feel like going big, you can also throw Jackson Hayes in that lineup. This is a team that's so athletic with so much potential, it would be a nightmare to guard in the NBA. Look, I reference Rick and Morty a lot, but this lineup is some Rick and Morty type stuff. I can't see how you would stop it. And then from the Nuggets side of things, Jamal Murray, Drew Holiday, Michael Porter Jr., Jeremy Grant, Nikola Jokic, you can't tell me that lineup doesn't sound like a championship lineup. I'm not saying they're going to go out and win one, but I'm saying a team that just made a deep run becomes that much better. What can I say? I'm an optimistic Pelicans fan, and I haven't even discussed the possibilities of the Pelicans trading up with the Warriors. Tell Denny I said what's up, and I know some great food spots down in New Orleans. Be sure to click the video on the screen right now. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Get Like Coop. Bringing you guys the scoop, and I'll see you guys in the next one.